Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here and today I'm in Alangapo, Philippines and I just wanted to discuss the Philippines with you. I've been here about a week. I flew in September 26th, it's now October 3rd and I'm getting ready to get into a gym jeepney and head over to the market. So I'll combine a few videos together today to show you different things in the marketplace. It, it's a huge market. I can't wait to get to some of the sites, the sculptures that they have, the monuments. I'll take some photos of that. I'll take some video and just share the day with you. If you do like today's video, please like and subscribe. But just to give you a little bit of an idea of the difference between the Philippines to say America or Japan. You know, you do have to, I, I've heard a lot of, oh, you got to watch, they'll rob you, they'll do this, but I really haven't had any trouble. I've got this uh, actual device that hooks to my body right here, as you can see, and you can basically just hold on to it like that. So anytime a lot of uh, people get around you, and believe me, they will get around you and they'll try, they, they will try if you leave it open and you will get robbed. But as long as you pretty much stay on guard, watch people, and just what are they doing? Why, why does the little kid run to your side behind you over where you know your wallet is and you know where your purse is and where, where your camera is? So just be cognizant of all that. As long as you let them know, hey, you know what they're trying to do and you protect your stuff, you should have no issue because they know not to cross that line. If you leave yourself open, like you get really drunk in a bar or just go. I, I met an individual yesterday. He, they, they, they got him. You know, he went to a bar. He's an older gentleman, looked like about 60. And he freaking gets pissed drunk. And, and, you know, he comes and he fell down. He hit his head. And then he, he claims he had $600 and, and it's gone and they robbed him. Well, he, he set himself up for that. And, you know, you are in the Philippines, you know, it is a good time, but you have to realize, you know, if you're there, especially if you're there alone, like myself, I travel pretty much, you know, with some friends most of the time, but there's some times that I get off and I'm the only one there. You know, if I, if I decide to go to a different town and it's just me, you know, you need to be cognizant of that. That's not the time to get really drunk and go off with the bar girls and, you know, the people that you've just met and let them dictate your day. You know, you do have to be on guard. If they say, hey, let, let's do this, you, you tell them. That's not my plan. My plan is to do this. I'm going to do what I want to do. Not what you want me to do, but what I want to do. I'm going to buy what I want to buy. Not what you want me to buy, but what I want to buy. Because they'll all try and sell you something and they will talk. Sometimes you got to walk away from them because they will not stop talking to you and it kind of wastes your time a little bit. And it wastes their time if you're not going to buy anything. So if you are, if you are interested and they come up and they're trying to sell something to you, you know, go ahead and do that. Don't buy any of the coins because they always claim there's these old coins and they show them to you and they're like 1809 and, you know, 1885 and, you know, they're, they're all fake. You know, even though they don't have copy on it, they're very good at copying fake, you know, coins and all that. And they've all got them, you know. Every, every person that I've seen that sells, you know, these trinkets here or a necklace, you know, and, and don't get me wrong, I, I, I buy from them because they're great people. They're hardworking, you know, it's, it's just the ones that are trying to get over on you. You know, they, they say, oh, they don't know if they're real or not. Well, let me tell you, they're not real. So don't buy the fake coins. Every, if, if they're so, so rare, then why is it that everybody that I walk up to that's selling a necklace or a bracelet has like five or six of them in their bag and they're selling? They're, they're not that rare. They're copies and they're fakes. You can look it up on the internet. So don't, don't get scammed there. And just like the little kids, they will run up and, and ask you for change, you know? And if you give change to one, you know, don't be surprised if, you know, a couple minutes later there's two and then you give change to them and then, oh, wow, the whole, then all of a sudden the whole town's there, not the whole town, but all the little kids, at least, you know, there's five or ten of them 
And then now they're patting you down to see what you have in your pockets. And, you know, if there's that many of them, you can't really keep track of it. So they might get you that way. So it's good to have everything again. I'll show you again. I have it here. It's secured with a clip and then another clip so it secures. And you can actually grab it. There's only one opening right here. So you grab it and you just make sure you know they that they don't get anything you know you can hear the zipper you can you're looking for one look at it grab it and look at it get a visual and just make sure if there's anybody around you and they're, they're bumping you and then don't stay in a bad situation you know move move around you can leave you know I, I do it many times that they, they say hey hey sir sir they everybody wants to talk to you you don't have to stop. Just keep walking. If, if that's not what you intend to do or what you want, just keep going. Because if you stop at everybody that does want to talk with you, then, you know, all, all, all they want is for you to buy something and then, hey, you know, you're just giving your money away. So, you know, again, it's those are like the worst case scenarios. 99% of the hardworking population that I have met in the Philippines have been great, courteous, helpful. You know, no issues whatsoever. But you do get tremendous value. You know, I haven't got a shave or a haircut, but I priced it just yesterday. And it's like after the conversion, you know, you get 54 pesos to the dollar and a haircut's 50 pesos. So it's about 90 cents. And a shave was, you know, 45 pesos. So again, it's all under a buck. For, so for two bucks, I can get either the shave the beard trimmed or shaved completely off or and a haircut you know you, you just can't beat the value there I had an all you can eat for three dollars and fifty cents you know and this is you can go back as many times as you want try try to get that in the states you probably 10 15 12 15 bucks you know you can't beat the the value I mean if you want to you can go and find these places that are expensive and pay you know a lot for food but for the most part, it, it's been pretty cheap. You know, over in Japan, I'd get charged $4 for an orange juice. Here, it's $1.20. You know, I mean, it's still a little, little pricey compared to what I was used to back in the days in the 1980s and 90s. But, you know, it's gone down and the value is, is there. You know, you can find great places to stay. You can get a fully furnished apartment for two, three dollars $300 a month. You know, I'm paying a little more. It was 500 for the month here on the beach in Alangapo, but it's great. They, they bring me breakfast in the morning. It's, it's awesome. I go out in town and just, you know, whatever. You know, if I'm going to the market here, they say it's eight pesos to jump in a jeepney and head to the market, you know, and then back that's 16 pesos, you know, that, that's about a quarter, you know. You, you just cannot beat the value. They do have, you know, a little bit of information for you they've got the the working age here is 18 so you know and you will see a lot of little kids working why because you know it, it's not the richest nation in the world and they do need to work to support their family and they're they're all just either selling something or you know asking for pesos or just you know all that but you know it kind of puts them in a position because you know the you know I guess people that try to do right with enforcing all these ridiculous regulations say, hey, you know, we don't want any child labor, so we'll set the child labor age at 18, but they don't understand different, it doesn't work for all, and different places need some adjustment, because for an example, here in the Philippines, if they don't work, you know, they're going to starve to death, so naturally you're going to see a lot of uh, child workers you're just going to see that and and they 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 try to dramatize it saying oh it's uh it's very you know dangerous and it's hard work but pretty much all the stuff that i've seen the adorable kids of this country do it's pretty easy they just walk around and they they sell little knickknacks it doesn't it look dangerous i mean some of the things on the streets they should probably focus on the construction because you know, that's dangerous. Their construction methods and safety as far as construction, that, that's what I would focus on a little more than maybe a child labor law. 
is uh, makes things dangerous for everybody. Because if you look in some of the videos, you see, you know, they just went down and widened the streets. Well, you know, there's a lot of jagged rocks and poles and drop-offs and, and everything that just makes that dangerous. But uh, also, do not smoke on the streets in the Philippines because they will charge you 500 pesos. And, if you know, just double that because if the conversion is 54 pesos to the dollar. So I, I just double it as far as, you know, it, it's going to be about 10 bucks. That does do a mind trick on you because if you spend 100 pesos, that's about $2. So 500 pesos is ten, about $10, roughly. It does kind of kind of play a mind game on you because you think that you're only spending you know 500 pesos. You're thinking in your mind five bucks. Well, that's actually ten bucks, and a thousand pesos. That's not ten bucks. That's twenty bucks. So you know, for the first couple of days, I was kind of overspending or not realizing what I was spending because I was just like, oh, it's only a hundred pesos. I'm thinking it's a dollar. No, it that's two dollars. So for every hundred pesos, just double it. 100 pesos is $2, 500 pesos is about $10, and, and go that way. If you spend 10 pesos, that's about 20 cents. You know, it's a little under because it is 54 pesos to the, uh, the dollar. So, therefore, 108 pesos right now on October 3rd, 2018, is uh, a, you know, you get 54 pesos, and that would be, you know, a dollar eight. So you do have to be aware of that and understand the conversion, otherwise you're gonna go over budget or you're not gonna know what you spend or you think you're spending less, but you're really spending more. So just understand that, you know, be, be wary, you know, it's not a first world country where everything's, you know, nice and cleaned up every day. I, I have seen glass on the beach, you know, there's many, don't, don't get me wrong, they do clean it, but, you know, there's just, you know, there is trash around and there is glass that they leave around. So, you know, they, I was fascinated also with the history. They've got seven old American bases here on, on the base. The, the Americans are gone now, but they can use the ports. You know, they've come to an agreement where they could use the ports. I mean, you have seen over the years the relationship with the Philippines and America kind of deteriorate and I would like to see a reversal in that because the Chinese and other people are, are moving in with their money to kind of you know do that and as long as everybody gets along that's okay but you know you know how people just don't like to get along so I encourage everybody for one to get along and you know there's no re reason to have a bad relation with any country so as long as you put enough time energy and work into it you know that that should be move move in a positive direction there because there's really no reason i mean we create the negative direction so why don't we create the positive direction so i would like to see the relations with the u.s and the philippines uh get better and a lot better and, and not that they're that bad but just i've in the past the relations have been better and tighter than they are right now and that's just kind of sad for me they're still pretty good but you know I just encourage, you know, everyone to get along and let's have a good life instead of a bad life. So, again, you know, I, I mentioned earlier, I, I did a video on the Bataan Death March it, between the battle between the Japanese and the Philippine military and the U.S. military forces. I've got a video on that if you care to see it. And... It's pretty, it's pretty neat. They've got a cross on the top of the, this mountain where the battle occurred, and it is huge. You just got to see it. it. It's massively amazing, and it, it's just it's pretty good. So, again, I hope you enjoy that, and I have many other videos. Go ahead and take a look at that. I try to get out, push out as much information as I can to be as helpful as I can, and, you know, just... Enjoy the Philippines for what it is. You can get around. It's beautiful countryside. The people are great. I've been in, in the major city of Manila walking around downtown with everybody. No issue. You know, I might have to walk away from a few people that's trying to 
talk to me or sell something that I don't want. But, you know, for the most part, there's been no bad experiences. I mean, I do find it a little annoying when you tell them, no, you don't want to buy something, and they just continue to ask and ask and ask. But you just learn to, if they do that, just walk away from them. Just keep walking, don't stop, because when you stop, then hey, then now they sold you some stuff you don't really need, you're going over budget, so just kind of watch out for that. So I'll put this video together with other videos of the day when I get to the market. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in a little bit. This is the Alangapo market. I've made it to Alangapo from the city. It took about, say, 10 minutes, and it's 13 pesos, which was about a quarter. Here's the main intersection. You see everybody doing their business, enjoying the day. Coca Cola, if you want any Coca Cola. They usually got umbrellas to protect themselves from the sun. There's the center where they've got the monument. And downtown Longapo, just gonna do a 360 here. Here's a memorial of World War II. You can see they've got each year who did what, who's still alive. They got the names of the individuals on there. It's in the center of Alangapo here, Alangapo City. They got the yellow jeepneys. Those yellow jeepneys were actually uh, a design from the Jeep from World War II. And then they took them and just expanded them and then the US government just left them here and sold them or gave them to the Philippine government and they transformed them into that. They've started their own uh, building them. They say that they use the same amount of gas as a 64 passenger bus, but they've actually modified that from the World War II Jeeps that they left and from Vietnam and then they're, they were used during Vietnam as troop transports, but just very interesting. They say that the advantages of those is that they can pull over and pick anybody up everywhere, and that's perfect for the Philippines with as many people and stops as they make as a bigger bus. But they do use the fuel as a 64 passenger bus. They give a lot of emissions and kind I, I just rode in one for 34, for 13 pesos, and it was very comfortable. I enjoyed it. A little bumpy at times, but it was okay. It was okay. So, this here is, you see everybody doing the shopping. You got the memorial, the nice little park over here. Bunch of people, as you can see, crossing the street. But uh, it's... Rezil Triangle Park. Hey, what's your name? Say hi, say hi. Nice young lady that's saying hi to us. Beautiful Nike shirt. But uh, let me leave you with that. As you can see, the hustle and bustle, and I'll get back to you shortly. I'd like to do another 360 so you can see the hustle and bustle. Got the monuments. They've got like a school event or something going off in the stadium here and just uh, doing gymnastics. Very, very interesting day. <laughs> 